Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to construct a knowledge base for the Ohm first world example and how to check whether the knowledge base logically entails alpha 1 and alpha 2 with the help of simple examples. Knowledge base for any example is nothing but it's a collection of first sentences. Now the question comes in front of us is what is sentence? Sentence are expressed according to the syntax of uh, logic here. Like uh, x plus y is equal to 4, it is one well formed sentence here. There is another sentence you can notice here x4 y plus equal to, it is not a well formed sentence. There is one more thing in logic that is known as the semantic, which will define the truthness or falsity of the given sentence in each possible model. Now, the question comes in front of us is what is model? So, to understand what is model, I will consider the same example that is x plus y is equal to 4 where x y is greater than 0 and less than equal to 3 here. Now the model is nothing but each possible assignment of numbers to the variables x and y will create a model here. In this case we can assign the values to x and y something like this x can be 1 and y can be 1 x can be 1 and y can be 2 x can be 1 and y can be 3 similarly we can assign x can be 2 and y can be 1, x can be 2, y can be 2 and so on. Now, these are nothing but the models for the given sentence. Next, what we need to do is uh, we need to select a model which is true for the given sentence. If you look at these models, the first one is not true because 1 plus 1 is not equal to 4. Similarly, second one. But if we consider the third one that is 1 comma 3, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So, this is the true statement. Hence, it is a correct assignment here. Similarly, if we consider one more assignment that is 2, 2, again it is correct and similarly 3, 1 is a correct assignment in this case. Remaining all are incorrect or you can say that the false assignments in this case. Now, we have totally how many number of models? 9 models are there. Out of that, 3 are correct. The meaning of this one is for this particular sentence, this is the knowledge base here. Now, we will define one more uh, very important term that is known as a logical entailment. Logical entailment between two sentences is that a sentence follows logically from another sentence. This can be written mathematically something like this. Alpha logically entails beta in this case and the logical entailment can be defined like this. Alpha logically entails beta if and only if in every model where alpha is true, beta should also be true here. If that is the case, we can say that alpha logically entails beta that can be written mathematically something like this. In every model, if alpha is true, we are expecting beta should be true. If that is the case, alpha logically entails beta. To understand this definition, again, we will take the same example that is alpha is equal to x plus y, which is equal to 4. And uh, we will take one more sentence that is beta x multiplied by y greater than equal to 2 here for all x, y greater than 0 less than equal to 3 here. Now, we will consider all the models for alpha. There are totally 9 models are there as discussed in the previous slide. Out of that uh, 9 models, alpha is uh, true in 3 models that is uh, when x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3, when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 2, when x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 1 here. Now, if you want to say that this alpha logically entails beta, what should happen here? In these three models, alpha is true. If beta is also true in these three models, then we can say that alpha logically entails beta in this case. Now, we will check whether beta is true in these three models. What is the first model? x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3. 1 multiplied by 3 is greater than equal to 2. Yes, it is true over here. What about the second one? x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2, 2 multiplied by 2 is greater than equal to 2. Again, it is true here. And x is equal to 3, y is equal to 1 is the third model. 3 multiplied by 1 is greater than equal to 2. It is true over here also. The meaning of this one is whenever alpha is true, beta is also true. We can say that alpha logically entails beta in this case. Now, we will apply the same concept to our own first world example. Let's assume that. Uh, the agent has moved from the square 1 comma 1 to 2 comma 1. Right now, the agent is present in 2 comma 1 and he has perceived the breeze here. What agent wants to know is, he wants to know 
whether there is a pit in 1,2, whether there is a pit in 2,2 or whether there is a pit in 3,1. This is what he want to know. To check whether the pit is present in these squares, the agent has to consider the percept. What is the percept he has got? There is no breeze, no stench, no uh, glitter in 1,1. There is a breeze in 2,1. This is the percept what he has received till now. And the agent's knowledge about the Umfus world. Umfus world has its own uh, set of rules. Using these things, uh, we need to build the knowledge base. Based on that, we can check whether there is a pit in these three squares here. Now, how many number of squares are there? We have considered 1, 2, 2, 2 and 3, 1 here. So, there are three squares are there. There may or may not be pit in these uh, squares. So, there are two possibilities for each square. There are totally three squares are there. So, the total number of models we will get is 8 in this case. Now, we will try to draw each of those models here. So, these are the models what I have drawn. Uh, agent is currently present in this square and he has felt a breeze. In the first case, you can see here, there is no pit any one of these squares. There is no pit here, there is no pit here, there is no pit here. Next time what we do is uh, we will consider uh, there is pit in exactly one square. That is there is a pit here, there is a pit here and there is a pit here. Exactly one square. Next we will consider there is a pit in exactly two squares. There is a pit over here that is in two squares. Pit in these two squares and pit in these two squares here. And now we will consider pit in all three squares. This is the last possibility. Now this is nothing but the model what we have constructed for the current uh, situation. Now, based on the agent's percept and the Umfus world rules, we need to consider only the true models in this case. What is the percept? The agent has perceived breeze. Whenever agent has perceived uh, breeze, the meaning of this one is there is a possibility of pit in adjacent squares here. Now, we combine these two things that is the percept and the rules and we will try to find out how many of these are true here. Now, if you consider the first one, if you consider the first one, agent has perceived breeze in 2. The meaning of this one is there is a possibility of pit in uh, this one, 3, 1. So, definitely this is a true statement. Similarly, uh, this one, whenever agent has perceived breeze here, there is a possibility of pit here. So, this is true. Whenever agent has perceived breeze here, there is a possibility of pit in adjacent square. So, this is also true here. Now, what about this one? Agent has perceived breeze. But we have not found the pit here. So, this is false here. Similarly, this is also false because agent has perceived breeze here. There is no possibility of pit here. Similarly, there is no possibility of pit here. That is the reason it is false. No possibility of pit here. That is the reason it is false. This is also false here. So, totally how many of the models are true? There are only three models are true. This will constitute our knowledge base in this case. Now, we constructed the knowledge base. What we need to do is we need to answer the queries. What is the query right now? The query is the first query is alpha 1. There is no pit in 1, 2. So this is what we want to check whether there is a pit in 1, 2 or not. And second one is what? Alpha 2 is there is no pit in 2, 2 here. These are the two queries we want to answer. If you want to answer these queries, what we need to do in artificial intelligence is we need to check this uh, condition. That is whether the knowledge base logically entails alpha 1 or not. If knowledge base logically entails alpha 1, the statement is true. Otherwise, it is false here. Similarly, if you want to answer the second query that is alpha 2, we need to check this condition, whether the knowledge base logically entails alpha 2 or not. If it logically entails, again alpha 2 is true. Otherwise, alpha 2 is false in this case. Now, we will consider the first one that is alpha 1 and we will try to check this condition. If you want to check this condition, what we need to do? We need to do one thing that is whenever knowledge base is true, we want to check whether alpha 1 is also true. If alpha 1 is true in every model where knowledge base is true, the meaning of this one is knowledge base logically entails alpha 1 and alpha 1 is true here. Now, we will check it out. What is alpha 1? There is no pit in 1, 2. So, here uh, this is the knowledge base. In this particular knowledge base, we have to check this one. There is no pit in 1, 2. Yes, there is no pit in 1, 2. There is no pit in 1, 2. There is no pit in 1, 2. In each of these models, alpha 1 is also true here. That is what I have drawn in this case. Alpha 1 is true in other cases also. We are not much worried about that one. Whether the alpha 1 is true, 
where the knowledge base is true. That is what we are checking. Yes, alpha 1 is true in all the models where knowledge base is true. The meaning of this one is the knowledge base, whatever we have till now, it logically entails alpha 1. If that is the case, alpha 1 is a true statement. What is alpha 1? Alpha 1 is there is no pit in 1, 2. That is a true statement in this case. Now, we will consider the second one. That is alpha 2. There is no pit in 2, 2. Again, what do we want to do? We want to check this thing. Whether knowledge base logically entails alpha 2 or not. Again, knowledge base is uh, true in uh, three models. We want to check whether alpha 2 is true in those three models. What is that we want to check? We want to check there is no pit in 2, 2. So, this is uh, 2, 2. There is no pit in 2, 2. This is true here. There is a pit here. Actually, we are expecting no pit, but there is a pit. The meaning of this one is it is false here. We are expecting no pit, but there is a pit here. The meaning of this one is again, it is a false statement. The knowledge base is true in three models. Out of that, alpha 2 is true in one case and false in uh, two cases. The meaning of this one is this all knowledge base does not entail alpha 2. The meaning of this one is alpha 2 is a false statement in this case. So, this is how we can informally check the status of each of the sentence, whether they are true or false, using logical entailment in artificial intelligence. So, in this video, I have discussed how to construct the knowledge base and how to check whether the given sentences are true or false using logical entailment. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.